This is the Star Wars The Black Series from Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. We have Darth Vader or Darth. And this figure is looking to be the greatest Darth Vader figure in the 112th scale of all time. I picked up this figure from Our Toys. Let's get this figure out of packaging. And here we have the new Obi-Wan Kenobi Darth Vader out of packaging. And the figure looks absolutely terrific. This figure is looking to be the greatest Darth Vader figure that Hasbro's ever released. Wait, wait. Wait a second. The figure looks awfully familiar. I don't know how to... I just can't put my finger around it, but... Everything about the figure looks too familiar. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta stop this, I gotta stop this. Let me just, let me just take a closer look at the details of this figure. It's, I feel we've seen this figure before. Let me just bring in the other Darth Vader figures that I have in my collection. So here we have all the other Darth Vader figures in my collection. I don't have the blue line Darth Vader anymore, the one with the removable helmet. But I do have the red line. Uh, I think this is episode three, Rogue One Darth Vader. And then we have the, uh, the one of the latest Darth Vader's uh, figures to be released in, in the Black Series. We have the Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader. And as you can clearly see, Hasbro repacked the same figure. I just saw it now. Come on. Look at that. The shoulder armor, the head sculpt with a small uh, vent, the triangle vent underneath the helmet. Yeah, versus the, uh, the big one that the Empire Strikes Back has. You look at the, the head sculpt. The helmet is much smaller on this Kenobi Vader and it's identical to, to this red line Darth Vader compared to the Empire Strikes Back. So we can safely assume the Empire Strikes Back is a different mold. Uh, the control panel on the chest is obviously different. The chest, uh, the pauldron armor is obviously smaller. You get a, a different shoulder armor. Uh, although the pelvis armor and the legs pretty much look the same. I don't think they changed much of the of the sculpting on the legs. Even on the feet, the feet look the same. They just painted it differently or molded it in a shinier plastic. But look at these two Darth Vader figures. I mean, aside from the fact that the upper tunic on this Vader, on this Darth Vader figure, is on top of the pauldron armor, They've kind of swapped it to, and put it underneath the pauldron armor. It's the exact same figure. The control panels are identical. Obviously, the paint colors will have some slight differences. Same with the belt. The, the colors on this one are more vibrant. If you look closely, even the leg sculpting is identical. The arms, the hands, the lightsabers... Yep, they're pretty much identical. Even the blade, they just, they've just they just been molded in different colored plastic. I think even the way they, they snap on. Yeah, it's not a flared peg. The original one didn't have a flared peg at all. And there was only one way you could snap it in. So, yeah. Um, let me see the pole drawn if you... Yeah, it is it's the exact same armor that touches just a millimeter above the control panel. Whereas if you look at this one, it's obviously different. It's, it, it's a lot higher on the control panel. Yeah, and this head sculpt, I thought we were actually getting a brand new one. The paint scheme is identical. You've got a silver on the left cheek, silver on under the eye. The red or the sort of maroonish light maroon colors on the eyes this one is a little bit more grayish this one is a little bit more red-ish but it's it's the same it's the same head sculpt 
yeah so kind of i don't know you know if i'm being honest i'm uh i'm a little disappointed <laughs> with this figure now i was very excited to actually get it but seeing that it is a almost a straight up repack with a slight difference on the tunic and some of the shininess of the plastic and some vibrancy of the colors it's the exact same figure and uh i'm sorry i'm just a little taken aback i thought we were getting a new mold that is not to say it's a bad mold it's still a great mold and out of all the darth vader figures we've gotten from the black series the um the blue line is still probably the worst because of it's it's not the designer's fault for that figure it's just the technology for designing these figures and manufacturing them have come a long way and uh, these are the best Darth Vader figures we've had and it looks as if my you know the greatest Darth Vader figure for the Black Series line will still have to be the Empire Strikes Back and this is the same one as the carbonized Darth Vader it's the same one as the retro carded Kenner style Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader and I still hold this to be the the best Darth Vader figure from the Black Series but yeah it's okay it's still great just a little bit disappointed that we're getting we're not getting a new mold and so some final thoughts on this new Star Wars The Black Series from the show Obi-Wan Kenobi Darth Vader or Darth it's still a great figure. It's still going to get a 10 out of 10 for me. I love these Black Series Darth Vader figures. I'm just a little bit disappointed that Hasbro did not take this golden opportunity to give us a brand new Darth Vader mold. Instead, they chose to repack, and I'm guessing they're thinking, why reinvent the wheel, right? We have an already existing, amazing Darth Vader figure. A lot of people probably weren't able to get this figure back in when it was released in the red line so why not repack it give it some shinier uh paint paint apps a paint scheme uh probably a better i don't know higher thread count uh, on the soft good it looks the same to me it just it feels like it's thicker but it, i probably i'm thinking it's the same uh, just repack an old amazing figure so that people who missed out on it can actually get it as a longtime collector i kind of wish we'd have we would have gotten a new mold not complaining i'm great i'm happy we have this but uh just uh, a little bit disappointed that it's a repacked figure anyway let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this brand new repacked <laughs> obi-wan kenobi darth vader from the Black Series. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate all you guys supporting my channel, supporting the content, all the comments. I try to read and reply to each and every one of them. Thank you to everybody who's tried to connect with me on the channel. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys. Thanks so much.